हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर लर्नर्स प्रोफेशनल्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स टू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव टॉपिक ऑन डिजोल्यूशन स्पेसिफिकेशंस दिस इज पार्ट वन फॉर डिजोल्यूशन स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर इमीडिएट रिलीज फॉर्मुलेशंस और इमीडिएट रिलीज सॉलिड और लिक्विड फॉर्मुलेशंस व्हिच आर टू बी इंजेस्टेड दैट मींस व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी सॉल्वड so in this part mainly we will see the introduction of the topic and the specification at 15 and 30 minutes so the basic terms are there which are required to be understood before starting the topic so q uh, q is the quantity of drug or api uh, dissolved in a specific time this is referred as percentage of the label claim and it is always given in the percentage so time point time point is the specification of q it is a time of the specification of q like 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes and sometimes the two point specification is given so after watching this video you will be able to understand the terminologies and how the specification are given to the dissolution also you will be able to give the dissolution to your test products based on the information then bcs class this is nothing but biopharmaceutical classification system which classifies the drug substances based on the solubility and intestinal permeability here we are not going in detail we are just having a introduction uh, so four bcs classes are there mainly Uh, like class 1 2 3 and 4 so out of these two are soluble and two are low soluble so first is high soluble high permeable second is low soluble high permeable third one is high soluble low permeable and fourth one is low soluble low permeable why here this information is required because this will have a great importance while setting the dissolution specifications and also whenever you are providing the justifications then you have to understand immediate release what is immediate release whenever there is a no control on the release of the api through the formulation that time the release is called as immediate release the drug release is immediate and the release is not controlled or modified by the formulation design generally the drug is dissolved within 60 minutes very rapid release that means drug is released within 15 minutes or drug is dissolved within 15 minutes then rapid release the release of the drug occurs within 30 minutes so generally rapid release is for bcs class 1 drugs and very rapid release is given for the bcs class 3 drugs this is in general this is not any a requirement of this uh, bas- uh, dissolution specification like rapid or very rapid then bio batch bio batch is the product batch or formulation batch used in the bioequivalence studies and that batch is passing the be criteria that means this is the bioequivalent batch or sometimes uh, it is also called as be batch and in uh, pharmaceutical industries it is called as pivotal batch then specification a specification is a is a list of test or references to analytical procedures and appropriate acceptance criteria that are numerical limits ranges or other criteria for the test described that means specification is nothing but the range or the value for passing and failing the test or criteria then here i have a diagram or small presentation i have done this is 15 minutes this is 30 minutes this is 45 minutes and 60 minutes so as per the drug product the different release specifications are given so immediate release formulation generally fall in this category and they are ir tablets capsules maybe hard gelatin or soft gelatin ir suspension and syrups ir pellets and many more these are followed by the oral route then considering the time points and the release criteria mainly for immediate release solid oral or liquid oral products 
that are required to be swallowed are time points are given as 15 minutes 30 minutes and 45 minutes and sometimes two times are given that means two two point specification is given so time points are 15 minutes 30 minutes and 45 minutes and the dissolved or release percentage are 75 percent 80 percent and 85 percent generally these uh, uh, dissolution percentage or release percentages are given and these are widely accepted by the regulatory authorities if release of 80 percent is not achieved at 45 minutes then specification is set more than one point like two point dissolution is given if release is not achieved 80 percent so 70 percent dissolution we cannot give and if release is below 80 percent but if you can give the release of 75 percent q point then it can be accepted then consideration for the dissolution specification some considerations are required uh, for the dissolution specification like BCS class stability uh, batches we have uh, loaded on the stability and that dissolution data is required optimization batches data is also considered dissolution data of the other strength than BE batch strength are required to be considered for the dissolution specification then specification the dissolution specification are given on the basis of dissolution of BE batch or bio batch or pivotal batch that are used in the uh, bio studies or bioequivalent studies and that batch is passing. So a specification of Q point is generally given as minus 10% to the value of bio batch value at same point of the at same point of time in dissolution. This is nothing but whatever the dissolution we have got for the bio batch we have to subtract 10 percent and that value we can give as a q point so first we will consider the specification at 15 minutes so this is the very rapid type of dissolution it may happen for bcs class 1 and 3 because these are highly soluble and some other classes also like bcs 2 and 4 depending on the drug and the formulation design. So here 3, 4 examples I am giving for easy understanding and it require your 100% concentration on the video. So bio batch dissolution is given here. Here I have considered a 12 point dissolution average and considering the mean and maximum values are within the range with the C uh, percentage RSD. So for easy understanding only average values I have considered and for this product in 15 minutes we are getting 95 percent of the dissolution. Now as per the guideline of uh, EMA for specification the example we will consider 90 percent release of bio batch minus 10 percent it will give you 85 percent. So your Q will become 85. Now Q plus 5 is 90. So 90% is the requirement for S1 stage and Q is 85. This will come to S2 stage. So your specification will become not less than 85% that is Q of the labeled amount is dissolved in 15 minutes. Now coming to the next here in 15 minutes only you are getting the 90% release. So here also the same formula will be applicable and Q will come 80%. Q plus 5 is 85. It is in S1 stage and Q is equal to 80% in S2 stage. So not less than 80% Q of the labeled amount dissolved in 15 minutes. In example 1 that there was a release of 95%. Now it is 90%. Then example 3. And here it is 85%. In 15 minutes, we got the bio batch dissolution release or drug release or percent drug dissolved that is 85%. Now your Q will become 75%. And Q plus 5 is 80% in S1 stage. Here 
not less than 80 not less than 75 percent q will be the limit now moving to the specification at, at 30 minutes if you are not getting the release at 15 minutes and you cannot give the specification at 15 minutes then we have to move to 30 minutes here the same case will be applicable like 30 minutes 95 percent release we got and we can give the q value of 85 percent then the second example 30 30 minute and the dissolved is dissolved amount is 90 percent so q will become 80 percent similarly 85 percent in s1 stage and s2 will be 80 percent moving to example 3 that is 30 minutes and the release is 85 percent so here we came to the q percentage of 75 percent s1 will be 80 percent and s2 will be 75 percent if dissolution is not achieved like 85 percent within 30 minutes or at 30 minutes and we cannot give the q value of 75 percent at 30 minutes then we have to move, move to 45 minutes so dissolution specification at 45 minutes and two point spec and the best practices for setting specifications will be discussed in detail in part two so watch both the parts for best understanding and do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you